All right, so we want to add fraction. We're going to add and subtract fractions here. Uh, in this example, we're going to add two fractions, two-thirds plus four-fifths, like four over five. And in order to add or subtract fraction, you need to find the least common denominator, right? Uh, so between three and five. We know there is nothing common between three and five. There is no like prime factorization. Both of them are prime numbers. So the only way we can we can find the, the LCD, which is the least common denominator, is to is just uh, to multiply three with five. So we're gonna multiply by five here, and make sure also you do the same thing in the numerator here. Uh, five, you gotta multiply by three, and make sure you multiply also by three. So the answer is gonna be ten over fifteen, right? Plus twelve over fifteen. Now we got the same denominator, we're gonna keep the denominator and we're gonna add the numerators here, like 10 plus 12, and that will be like 22 over, over 15, right? And that's gonna be the answer. Now, there's another way how you find the LCD is to find the LCM, the least common multiple between three and five, right? The least LCM, the least common multiple between three and five, and that's that's one way to find LCD here, right? So, all right, so for uh, for uh, for the least common multiple here, we have three. So let, let's find the multiples of each number, like the multiples, like the multiples. The multiples of three, right? So we're gonna have three plus three, we're gonna get six, plus three, we're gonna get nine, and then 12 plus 3, you're going to get 15. And plus 3, you're going to get 18. And so on and so forth. And let's find the multiples of 5. Right? So we're going to get 5 here. Plus 5, you're going to get 10, 15, 20, and so on and so forth. So we can see the least common multiple between the two numbers is going to be 15, which is right here. That's 15, right? And that's how we get to, to, to 15 here, because we get 3. In order to get 15, you got to multiply by 5. That's why we get like a, we get like 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Like we got 5 multiples there, right? And for here, in order to get 15, 5, you got to multiply by 3. We got 1, 2, 3. So this is another way how you find the LCD is to find the least common multiple between three and five we don't have to do it here since we have three and five there is no common prime factorization between both of them and we're just going to multiply three with five all right so we get this question here we get two fractions we're going to add two fractions negative three over four plus negative two over five right the first thing we have to do here is we have to remove the parentheses make sure you remove the parentheses and since i have so 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 here we have like negative three four right and plus parentheses negative 2, 5. When we have parentheses with a sign, that's multiplication of the sign. It's like we have plus 1 times this. So positive times negative, that will be negative here. So we're going to change this one to negative, and it's going to be like 2 over, over 5, right? It's like we have positive 1 times negative 2 over 5. So positive times negative, it's going to be it's going to be uh, negative. Now, we need to find the least common multiple. We need to find the least common denominator between uh, uh, the, the two fractions. And we can see that there is nothing coming between 4 and 5. We can just multiply 4 with 5. So 4 times 5 and 4 times 5. And here we have 5 times 4 and 5 times 4. So the LCD, the least common denominator, is going to be, it's going to be 20. So it's going to be negative... Uh, so it's going to be negative, negative 15 over 20 minus 8 over 20, right? So we're going to keep the denominator, the least common denominator, and then we're going to combine the numerators, which is going to be negative 15 and negative 8. So negative 15 and negative 8. Again, when you combine two values with the same sign, we're going to add the values, which is going to be 23, we add the values and we keep the sign over 20. Again, this is uh, it called this is called improper fraction because we get 23 is greater than 20, 20, and we can change it to to mixed number, right? Just you know, if needed, if one of your answers is, is mixed number in the exam. So uh, we know 20 goes to 23 one time. You're gonna have like negative so negative one, 
and uh, the domain the domain is going to be like three over twenty, three over twenty. All right, and that's going to be the answer. All right, so we have another example, subtraction of fractions here. 3 over 7 minus negative 2 over 5. And again, since I have, since I have minus with parentheses and we have the negative, we have, a, we have a parentheses here with the negative negative, that's multiplication of the sign. We know negative times negative is positive. So it's going to be 3 over 7 and negative parentheses negative. That's, it's like negative 1 times negative 2 over 5. So that's multiplication of the sign. It's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be changed to positive here because negative times negative is positive. So that's gonna be uh, plus two over over five. Now we need to find a common denominator between seven and five, and obviously it's gonna be thirty five because seven times five is thirty five. There is no nothing common between seven and five. We're just gonna multiply by five here in both sides in the denominator and the numerator. And the same thing with 5, we're going to multiply by 7, and here we're going to multiply by 7. So we're going to get 3 times 5 is 15 over 35, plus 2 times 7 is 14 over 35. Now obviously 35 is going to be the, the common denominator. We're going to keep the denominator here, and we're just going to add the numerators here, like 15 plus 14, and that will be 29 over over 35.